We're going to talk a little bit about spider mites today because it doesn't really matter what species of Christmas trees you grow, sooner or later you're likely going to deal with spruce spider mite. And what mites do, they're small little creatures, they're related to insects, but they're not a true insect. Um, they're kind of related to spiders for that matter. They are sap feeding organisms and there's a couple of important parts of spider mite biology that we can take advantage of when we're trying to manage them. One is that they're very small, so they have a lot of exposed surface area, and that means they're very vulnerable to desiccating, to drying out. Okay, And what that means, if you're a spruce spider mite, is that you don't want to feed on the outside of the tree. You don't really want to be up in the top of the tree where you're going to be exposed to a lot of sun and wind. You want to feed on the older needles that are close to the stem of the tree. Okay, so given that, when we're scouting for spruce spider mite, you want to be looking at those older needles. You want to be wrapping the foliage uh, over white paper or a white piece of poster board to see if you have spruce spider mite in there. They're going to be on the older needles. They're going to be close to the stem. Secondly, any sap feeding insect, whether it's spruce spider mites, uh, golf warming adelgids, scales, those insects are all limited by their ability to get enough protein. Okay, and if you know your basic nutrition, you know that nitrogen is needed to make amino acids, amino acids are needed to make proteins, and proteins are important for all the enzymes and, and processes that take place inside an animal. Anything that causes the amount of nitrogen to increase in the tissues that spruce spider mites feed on, the plant sap for example, is going to benefit spruce spider mite. And those benefits may be that they can complete a life cycle faster. Instead of taking three weeks to get through a generation, they may be able to get through that generation in two and a half weeks, maybe even a little bit faster, which means they're reproducing more. Another thing that can happen is the female spruce spider mites, if they get a little bit of extra nitrogen, will produce more offspring. So that means a bigger population, those mites will mature, they'll produce offspring, and it can get out of control very quickly. Spruce spider mites typically are most abundant early in the summer when it's still somewhat cool, it's still somewhat a little bit humid in the morning, we have condensation and so forth, and then you really see them oftentimes become a problem late in the summer, early in the fall. And sometimes what happens is we go through a drought period. Uh, maybe in the spring, more commonly, we get a drought in August. And that causes some of the proteins within the tissues of the tree to break down. And you get more amino acids in the sap. That benefits the mites. You can look at your trees. Yeah, maybe you see you have a little bit of spruce spider mite in there. You see a little bit of webbing. Maybe you see some actual mites. If you come back in three weeks, maybe in a month, the, the population may have exploded uh, just because of this reproduction and because now you have multiple generations feeding. So in terms of trying to manage spruce spider mite, one of the things that's real important is scouting your trees. And the closer those trees get to harvest, the more important it is to scout them. If you're going to find mites, it's best to find them early. Know what you're dealing with. Secondly, there are predatory mites tiny mites. These are mites that you're not going to be able to see without a microscope and you may not even realize they're out there and they're a whole lot better at tracking down and hunting and capturing and killing spruce spider mites than you're going to be even with the best insecticide. So you want to try to conserve those predatory mites and there's actually a way to do this and it's because there are now products that have been developed, miticides, that will kill spider mites, including spruce spider mite, the kind of mites that feed on the, the sap of plants, those new generation miticides will not kill predatory mites. And so you're kind of getting the best of both worlds. You have to be very careful with those products. Most of them you can only apply once during the season. You don't want to apply them more than what the label specifies because you don't want to create a population of spider mites that becomes resistant to the miticides. So you use those products once, you knock the spruce spider mites down. You don't have to eradicate every single spruce, spruce spider mite. You just need to keep the population low enough so that it doesn't cause you damage. And at the same time, you're conserving some of those predatory mites.